Hello, everybody. Um, DFS Chan coming to you to talk about uh, League of Legends, LOL EU Master Slate um, for today and tomorrow. I, I will try to uh, uh, touch on uh, both slates today and tomorrow. So today um, it's day seven of the EU Master Slate. Um, as mentioned before, um, it's going to be a round robin format. So today it's going to be dedicated for um, Group C. So all these teams, four teams in Group C are going to be playing against each other. And each team is going to play three games um, in the round robin format. So at the end of those uh, six games, um, they will determine whoever, you know, based on whoever has the best records will advance uh, out of the Group C. So two teams uh, will advance out of that group. So you see like from group D and B uh, for the past two days, LDLC and Unicorns of Love have uh, advanced. And then uh, Carmine Corp and X7 yesterday advanced out of group B. So it's going to be the exact same format for group C and group A uh, today and tomorrow. So yeah, we just need to predict what's going to happen today um, on today's slate and tomorrow's slate. Um, and and I, I mentioned this before, but most important thing for uh, for me at least is to predict um, the outcomes of the earlier matchups because the last two matchups have um, tendencies um, to just get out of control um, based on whatever happened earlier in the slate um, because by then <clears throat> um, maybe the records have um, solidified so that some teams, you know, know that they're advancing and some teams know that they're not advancing. So that obviously, you know, uh, leaves them uh, loose, a little more loose to uh, play more freely. Um, and that could translate into higher, hiring kill upside, higher kill upside. So yeah, today is the Fnatic um, slate in my opinion. Um, I know Bifrost and Fnatic are tied up, but this is actually a close very close group in my opinion, because I do think um, BDS and, and maybe Aska for GPP purposes um, can definitely come into play today. Um, this is much closer uh, group than the group B and group D in my opinion. Um, so, but for me at least, I'm gonna have to go with Fnatic um, to win the group. Um, and on this, on this slate, today's slate, I think it's gonna be important to predict um, two winners um, of the group instead of I'm um, going through, you know, all the, uh, all the matchups today because they're all so close in their records. Um, so, yeah, let's go through um, Fnatic. Yeah, so I think Fnatic's going to win, and I think BDS is going to finish second. Um, I know Bifrost has been playing well. Um, here you'll see Bifrost has lost to Fnatic, but they beat um, BDS and they beat Eska. But I think BDS will come back. I believe in their talent. Um, I think I think BDS will win most of their matchups today and advance as a second place behind Fnatic. So here, Fnatic, uh, right off the bat, I mean, Fnatic versus Bifrost, I think Fnatic's going to win here. Um, and I think BDS is going to win the next matchup against Eska. Um, Fnatic's going to win the, uh, their matchup against Eska, in my opinion. So I, I think Fnatic's going to be, have our, already have two wins, right? So it'll be four and one by then. Um, and BDS will be two and two, whereas Bifrost will be two and two as well so really it's going to come down to this fourth matchup here on the slate uh bds and Bi bifrost whoever wins that matchup i think will have an advantage um to advance out of the group and i do think bds is going to win today um against bifrost uh even though they lost the last um head-to-head -head. um i believe in bds's talent especially the top half of the map um so fanatic here in the first matchup bds says the second matchup fanatic bds um, between Bifrost and T uh, Team Eska, I think Bifrost will win. And then between Fnatic and BDS, I think Fnatic is going to win. But even if BDS wins, I think by the time he they will have two wins, Fnatic will have two wins. So you want to have Fnatic and BDS. I mean, I think this is going to be the um, tiebreaker if BDS wins for some reason here. Uh, for whatever reason, I think there's going to be a tiebreaker. But Fnatic and BDS, yeah, I mean, these two teams are, are it's my prediction today. And for GPP purposes, like I said, this is an this is a pretty close uh, group. So really, if you want to take a chance on Bifrost or Eska, I don't blame you. Um, but I think Eska is the weakest team in the in the group. 
So I'm going to have to go Fnatic, BDS, Bifrost, and Eska in that order of preference. And then for next tomorrow's matchup, it's going to be a, a little more lopsided, in my opinion. Um, Vitality has looked really, really good, in my opinion. Um, I know Rogue has looked all right. Um, they've actually played much better in the last two matchups, in my opinion, compared to uh, their first matchup coming into the tournament. Um, but, but I do think this will hold. Um, I think it's either going to be Rogue or Vitality or Vitality Rogue in that order. Um, I don't think um, Eintracht or Z, uh, C, CZE um, or CV, CZV has any chance, in my opinion. I think it's going to be between these two. So whatever the stacks you want to have between Vitality and Rogue, um, uh, you know, long stack Vitality, short stack Rogue, or long stack Rogue and short stack Vitality, I think that's the combination you want to go with um, for that group A for tomorrow's slate. But yeah, I mean, really, I think... Um, Vitality, I really like, let me see, who was the top laner there? Yeah, Zaginda. Um, he is an old-time player. Um, he's not, I mean, I think, I mean, you see this uh, um, lineup. It's really solid, in my opinion. I know these are all kind of like washed the players from LEC, but I still like them, you know, more than any other team on this, on this, um, in this group. And where's Rogue? Let me see. Yeah, Rogue has been all right. Bean Sue has been struggling a bit um, coming into the tournament as a replacement. Um, I fully expect him to start again still, but um, the bottom lane has been a little shaky given that new support. Um, so I, I prefer Vitality's consistency there. And then Eintracht, yeah, I mean, Spandu, where is he? Where are they? Yeah, Pride is okay, but then everybody else, I mean, they're okay, I think. And then Zerbena. Yeah, I think this is the weakest lineup. Um, and it's because they play in a weak region, right? So that, that really matters a lot um, in this EU tournament, in my opinion. Um, the stronger regions, you know, I mean, Vitality is playing in that French French region, um, and then Rogue is playing in the Ultra Liga, which is really strong compared to like, let's say, oh, Prime League is not bad, but I still think Ultra Liga is stronger than Prime League. So anyway, so yeah, for Group A, uh, you know, uh, that's a summary, Vitality and Rogue, if you want to have uh, different stacks of those two teams, in my opinion. And if you want to take a long, deep GPP shot, I think, um, where's Pride? Yeah, Eintracht, uh, that would be my choice um, as like a, maybe a shorter stack, I think. They're still going to lose some games. So I think um, just going through the slate, the last two games, yeah, I mean, this right here, Einstein versus CVZ, this can turn into a kill fiesta because by then I think both teams uh, could be eliminated. So really, I mean, I think that can turn into a very, very messy team fighting game, like 25 to 25 or something like that. But at the end of the day, still, they're going to lose both games, I think, earlier in the slate. That's my prediction. Um, so it really doesn't really matter unless they pull off one win um, early in the day, um, which I think I give Eintracht a little more chance. So maybe Einstein, but... I think this Vitality and Rogue will advance out of that group. So, so yeah. And then, you know, for that other group uh, that's happening today, like I said, Fnatic and BDS, I think that's my choice. Um, but you can take your shot with Bifrost or Team Eska, I think, in my opinion, today, because today's uh, group, group C is a little more closer than Group A, in my opinion. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, if you guys want to just, you know, chat about League of Legends, uh, talk to me on Twitter, Discord, or on YouTube um, at DFS Chan. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't, uh, if you didn't like the video, let me know as well. Um, I'm always open to any suggestions for improvement. Um, but if you uh, want to watch videos about other sports that we um, provide insights on, um, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Good luck today and have a good weekend.